Welcome to another episode of Law Class Pro Tips, a series of tips hand-picked by pro players and law class analysts. Today's episode features CLG Double Lift on Lucian. Oh, Civil this, Resolution. This matchup, like I used to think Civil won, uh, then I realized that Lucian actually wins, because even though Civil can spell show Lucian's E on cooldown, or sorry, Lucian's Q, mm -hmm. uh, Lucian's Q has such a shorter cooldown than Civil. So like before, people would, Civil would blow or spell shield, and you'd lose the trade, and then Lucian's would back up because they're like, I lost the trade. But what you do after you lose that first trade is you just go again and you win because Sivir doesn't have spell shield for your next Q or your next Q after that. So you can actually like just continually trade and you'll lose the first one, but you have to go in again. Mm -hmm. That's how you play this matchup. Um, if you're if the Sivir isn't good enough to spell shield, there's a lot of LCS ADs that don't spell shield Lucian's Q on reaction because their distraction time isn't good enough. Mm -hmm. uh, and then those. You just automatically win, if, you, if that happens. You just auto-win. Uh, so this matchup goes like pretty much like this. Just getting poked down and all this stuff. Does I Lucian... This, I was gonna ask, does Lucian struggle against really high poke supports like Karma? No, he's just playing really bad. Uh, he's He needs to be queuing through creeps to harass. And also, he shouldn't be getting pushed in this hard. So like, when you queue through creeps, you not only push the wave, but you harass them. At this point, when you have such a huge HP disadvantage, it's really hard to play aggressive. He should be eating his pot right now, so for the potential to, like, like right here, Sivir went towards, so he needs to eat his pot and sustain back up. And he needs to be watching uh, Karma. Like, basically, the best thing to do against Sivir is to go for Sivir's support. Like, like, Sivir doesn't really have that much damage, and if you can go for the support while dodging Boomerang Blade, you'll fuck the support, and then you get more opportunities to play aggressive after that. Like, the reason why they can't walk up right now is not because Sivir's at full HP. Sivir has really low range, so she can't really zone you off the wave. The person who's zoning them off the wave is Karma. <laughs> and she keeps landing, like, double Mantrid Qs, which is just bad. Uh, they shouldn't let that happen at all. So with Lucian, well, particularly against, like, a Karma, are you more inclined to pay attention to your spacing and not stack up with your support ever? Yeah, you don't... What, what you don't want to do is stack up next to creeps, because Karma's Q... Uh, what's it called? like explodes off of the first thing that it hits. So even if you dodge the Q, if it splashes off of a creep, it'll hit you. <laughs> um, you don't want to be standing near creeps. You want to be always like in control of your spacing. Like you have, just have to know Karma's Q range and then just know that every 25 to 30 seconds, depending on her CDR, like, holy crap, like Lucian's yeah. Q while shield is up. Um, that was kind of awful. You just you just want to be paying attention like, oh, her Mantra's up, she's going to want to use it. Like every Karma uses Mantra on cooldown. Like Mantra's up right now, and if they stack up together, she's just going to Mantra Q them both again. <laughs> so you have to be paying attention to that. It Generally, Mantra's up once per wipe. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. Like right here, he didn't have to E right there. He could have just dodged, but yeah. Thanks for tuning in to another Law Class Pro Tip. Have any questions about anything discussed in this video? Leave a comment and we'll get you the answers you need. Remember to thumbs up the video and subscribe to the channel for more quick tips hand-picked by top pros and law class analysts on how to bring your game to the next level.